open up Xcode, do a file new project or create a new Xcode project. Um, do a view based application for now and you can save it however you like. I'm, I already have one open. Open. Okay. So when you first open the project, you have at the top level you have your actual project. Um, and then in, you have classes, other sources, resources, um, frameworks, products. The only ones that we're actually going to be using in this tutorial are classes and resources. To start off, we have appdelegate.h, appdelegate.m, which we don't mess with, table view, tutorial underscore one, viewcontroller.h. This is a header file. And it's a UI view controller, and then also we have our .m file, which actually implements all of the um, methods and whatnot. So the .h file is like our promise, the, the file that makes all the promises to the, the SDK. And then we have our nib files, our .xib main, main window, we're not going to mess with right now. And then we have um, our... Uh, our view associated with the this uh, table view tutorial one view controller h class. So let's open up or double click on the this nib file that was automatically created, not main window, but this other nib file. It opens up interface builder, and this is where we're going to actually create our interfaces. Um, to start off, we have files owner, first responder, and view. Don't worry about the first responder right now. We're not going to be using that in this tutorial. Um, the type of file zone you can see is the type of this class that just that just tells the SDK to associate this view with that class. So it's kind of like the if you, for those of you that are familiar with uh, like framework web development frameworks like Ruby on Rails, that's basically what this is like. It's a model view controller. Um, all right, so then we have our view element. Um, so nothing going on there. And by the way, the file zone references. It, it has a property of named view that is a, that is automatically associated with this view element on our canvas. So now go into the library and drag a table view on there. And if you go into the inspector over here, go to the second tab to the right. We have data source and delegate data source. Um, and delegate, we're both gonna send over to our table view tutorial one view controller class so by doing that or you do that by moving over here um, holding down uh, the click and dragging over here and then also we're going to do that with delegate okay you can go ahead and do a save the file there and just go back into Xcode now come into your header file or your .h file not app delegate remember just the view controller now on on the top here we're on the same line it says interface blah blah colon UI view controller do a less than sign and this is where we have to tell the SDK um, that we are going to be the data source and delegate of that table view so basically we're making a promise here so y you do this by once again left less than sign UI table view and then it completes that for us and then also we need a UI table view uh, data source like so and greater than sign as you can see right there uh, nothing else we need to do there on this file except um, before we go anywhere else, um, we need to know what methods we have to define to actually complete the the promise to the SDK, or the promise that by by the the data source promise. Sorry about that. So do hold down Alt, and you can see there's this like your your cursor turns turns into a little plus sign, and double click on this UI table view data source, and there should be be this little window right here and right here you have this, this icon that looks like a, a book basically and it just opens up the documentation window we go down here under tasks we have uh, a list of things these are all methods that we can define to do certain things with the table view two of which are required so obviously we have to we are required to Define these since we are the data so UI table view data source. So we'd go ahead and copy um, this area, this line right here, 
this will actually be our method definition and put it in your .m file once you have that copied and pasted make a bracket like that close the bracket so that's our full method we haven't done anything yet but that's that's going to be our method and go back into the documentation window wherever it went here where did it go eh. well I'm going to reopen that I guess okay go back to tasks find this other required method number of rows in section copy that that line again like we just did with the other one and paste that I'm gonna put it just above the self row index path once again we need to make opening and closing braces here I don't have anything any specific specific array defined for um, displaying in the table view but we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend like there's five rows and it's all gonna be the same text and it's just gonna say like test one two three so under number of rows in section um, method you can see that it's supposed to turn return an ns integer alt, alt saying is how many rows are in this table view and if we had it sectioned which we don't right now it'd be how many um, rows are in each certain section so we're just going to return five. Just pretend like our the actual the array or dictionary that we're trying to display has just five um, uh, rows. Now, in uh, this method where it has self or index path, um, there are three things we have to do, and you can see that we have to return a UI table view cell. So the fir but the first thing out of the three you have to do is define the cell variable var uh, we got to populate the cell text um, area areas and then also we got to return the cell variable okay so that's what we're going to do right now and I'm going to assume that you guys have just a little bit of knowledge in defining variables in Objective C, so we're going to start typing. This is the type. It's going to be a UI table view cell. So UI table view. Whoops. Ah. Cell. And we're going to call it cell with we have the little star to indicate it's a pointer. Um, UI table. View. We need to all allocate it like we always do in uh, Objective C, and then we got to init it. And if we as you can see as we start typing in it it comes up with um, auto completion but we don't want the first completion if we hit the escape button we come up with a list of things we can do and we want in it with style and this the type that we need is turn or send to in it with style is a UI table view cell style so UI table view cell style and if we do the escape button again we can bring up all the different styles in this case we just want default meaning it's just going to have one area to put text in no subtitle or anything UI table view cell style default reuse identify this is just a string with our at sign to indicate it's a string and then just uh, let's call it cell and that's, all that's going to do is allow us to um, put in a certain identifier to the cell variable um, and then populate the cell text areas we're going to this is going to be an objective C method so we need the bracket um, opening bracket anyway, cell dot, and it's going to be the text label, um, and then we need a set text, and it's going to be a string, let's just say test123, and this is going to output on each one of our rows, and then of course we need to return the cell variable, like so, so that should do the trick, now make sure that you you are up here, um, you're, you're running it in the iPhone simulator, whatever version you like, it should work. Um, iPhone Simulator 3.2, for those of you who have the newest version of Xcode, that's just for the iPad. iPhone Simulator 3.1.3, that's what I'm going to do. Build and run. And that should open up the simulator. Give it a few seconds here. Here it is. It's opening. And there's our table. Not very exciting. Just says test one, two, three, five times. But that's a start. Um, so the next part, we're going to be working with actually handling event listeners, and that's what our delegate is for the by the way, is handling like uh, cell clicks and whatnot, and we're gonna we're gonna do some more stuff, so it'll be more exciting, but thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.